Kirsten. My wife. You look absolutely beautiful. I can honestly say that this is the happiest day of my life. This morning when I was watching you walk down the aisle, I was getting all tingly feelings. Yeah, I know, I know. When I compliment her, she won't believe me. It's so, it's so sad to think that she don't see what I see. But every time she asks me, do I look okay? I say. For those of you who don't know how we met, we were 15 years old and we were actually at RJ's mum's birthday party. And the conversation started by Kirsten trying to recruit me into YFC. That conversation soon ended because her parents were ready to leave. But in true Filipino fashion, the goodbye took another two hours where Kirsten was able to build up enough courage to ask for my email address. Who can blame her? I could kiss them all day if she'd let me Her laugh, her laugh She hates but I think it's so sexy She's so beautiful And I tell her every day I, Kirsten, take you, Matthew To be my husband To have and to hold from this day forward For better or worse For richer or poorer And in sickness and in health For you are God's gift to me I will love you, honor you, and cherish you for the rest of my life. When I see your face, there's not a thing that I would change. Matt and I first met in kindergarten, and it was then that we discovered that our last names, Nieto and Prieto, were almost identical. The reason I believe that Matt and I have been friends for so long is because we share common interests and values. Matt and Kirsten have been dating since they were both in high school, as did I and my wife. I don't think it's a coincidence that we both ended up marrying our high school sweethearts. It's more of a testament to the fact that we think alike, we share the same beliefs, and hold the same values in our life. I can truly say that I have a brother in Matt, Matt and that he had a big impact in the man I am today. For that, I am truly grateful and I would like to say thank you. When I met you in the summer. I received a letter earlier today from someone that couldn't be here today. Dear Mum and Dad, I just wanted to wish you both a happy wedding. And I know that you will both treat me even better as a married couple. You are both the best parents any dog could ever ask for. Love, Charlie. For you out there that don't know, that's Charlie. That's their uh, cross Shih Tzu Maltese Terrier. And uh, another funny fact is that me and Charlie is sort of related as well. Um, that's because my wife is Maltese. And I, and, and, and I tend to talk a lot of shit, so... So you're my business partner, you're our family chiropractor, <laughs> you're my cheeky, and I, yes I know she's got a cheeky side of one, my cheeky little sister, but you're also one of the best friends in my life. 
Um, you're my shoulder to cry on. Uh, you're my comforter and you're always there. You're my voice of reason, basically. Uh, you're my other half. You're my twin, right? No. <laughs> um, and I love you so much. So growing up, I was the only boy in the family and four years apart from my closest sibling. And I've always wanted a brother. Brothers to me are very important. And Fernando, you were that brother to me. I'm so glad in over 21 years of friendship, you're here by my side as my best man while I marry the woman of my dreams. Those days are gone, now the memories on the wall. I hear the songs of places where I was born. Kirsten, you're such a caring person and you always worry about everyone else before yourself. You always make sure that everyone is having fun, usually with a round of shots. But you do this even if it stresses you out. I don't know how, how I got so lucky to have found you. You make me the happiest man alive. I promise to make you laugh when you're sad to comfort you when you feel down, to cuddle you when you're cold, to kiss you when you want to be kissed, and to love and care for you for as long as you both shall live. I love you, baby.